Hello everyone, welcome to Tuskegee, Alabama, pride of the swift growing south. Hello, I'm your announcer for today's event, Jagadi Colbert. And what is that event? That event is the George Washington Carver's Commemorative Festival, the 2017 edition. And this is going to be the 14th annual George Washington Carver Festival. And their theme for this year is an impressive one indeed. What is that theme? It says, innovative and invaluable contributions by Dr. Carver. Hey, and that is so true because George Washington Carver is a stalwart, a man that has done so much, not just for this country, but for this city to put us on the map. And so now we're going to go to the 2017 edition of this festival right here in Tuskegee, Alabama. So come on and join me for the sights and the sounds of the Carver Festival. Hey, right here, starting from the beginning of leadership, being a great American, I'm here with the Boy Scouts, the Boy Scouts of Tuskegee, Alabama, and their Scoutmaster, an old friend of mine, Scoutmaster John Robinson. Hey, John, thanks for doing the interview, man. Jagadi, it's a pleasure. We're just here uh, at the Carver Fest 2017. Uh, we're st still trying to get uh, as many recruits as we can for the Boy Scouts of America. Troop 70, as you may know, is the oldest uh, continually chartered troop in the entire council at Tuckabatchee Council. That includes Montgomery County, Macon County, Autauga, uh, Elmore. I'm probably leaving out uh, uh, a couple of counties as well. But Wichumpka area, Montgomery, uh, Selma, that's Dallas County. Yes. But we're actually the oldest continuously chartered troop, and we're chartered by Tuskegee University. They're our sponsor. And just uh, taking advantage of the connection between George, Dr. George Washington Carver, Tuskegee University, and one of the only scout troops sponsored by a major university in the United States. So we're proud and pr privileged to, to be still in force, still recruiting kids, still taking the leadership role and going out and camping and doing all the fun things the scouts do. Well, John uh, has been doing this a while. You know, actually he and I, we started within the Cub Scouts and we moved on up to the Boy Scouts. But John, you are an Eagle Scout, is that correct? I am an Eagle Scout. I'm Eagle Scout class of 1972. Uh, I should have. What is that? 19 what to? 1972. So That's great. Time. That's great. That means that you have been doing that leadership thing for decades, John. And um, what I want to know is this. What can and how can anyone interested want to become a Boy Scout here in Tuskegee? Can you give them some numbers or where they can meet you here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is your opportunity, boys, for becoming Boy Scouts and or Cub Scouts here in Tuskegee, Alabama. Absolutely. Uh, Troop 70, uh, we meet at Washington Chapel Church every Tuesday at 7 o'clock. And uh, my telephone number is 727-7942. Uh, just call and we can make arrangements to uh, sign you up. There's another troop as, as well in Tuskegee. We're privileged to have two troops. The other troop is at Greenwood Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, it's Troop two, uh, 170, and it's headed up by Scoutmaster Michael Holland. And you can, you, they, I think they meet on Wednesdays, but Michael Holland is also listed in the phone book and if you, if you need to get in touch with him. They also have a Cub Scout troop over there. It's Cub Scout pack, that is. But uh, if we can uh, get as many people as possible to just join the Boy Scouts, 11 and up, 11 to 18 is the age group. Okay, we don't want to spend so much time because we know you have so many other things to do. But give the um, young men the perspective, people who are going to join, not who want to join, who are going to join. Tell them some of the things that scouting provides. Scouting is a, um, well, we live by the scout law and the scout oath, and uh, every scout in America probably every scout in the world, can recite the scout oath and law by memory. And it is their words to live by. And in order to live by those words, you have to do the deeds as well. So we try and do a lot of service projects. We do a lot of fun things like fishing, camping, hiking, uh, biking, climbing, everything outdoors that you can imagine. A lot of uh, water sports. Uh, every scout in Troop 70, hopefully by the time they finish, they'll be swimmers. So if you're interested in become a, becoming a swimmer, we learn how to swim. So we do all of those things. So life skills, life skills. Well, there you have it from the one and only the man, 
the Scoutmaster, Mr. John Preston Robinson. Hey, we're not finished. We're going all around the square with the sights and sounds of this Carver Festival. We'll see you in a second. More sights and sounds right here at the Carver Festival. We have Lynx Incorporated, the Tuskegee chapter right here. Hello, ladies. How are you doing? Fine. How are Hello. you? Hello there. You know, so many people have heard about you, and there are so many people that do not know about you. First of all, I want them to know who you are. Tell everyone who you are. What is your name? Okay. Uh, Dorothy Weber. Deborah Willis Baldwin. Marilyn Price Hoyt. And... I, I mean, I'm just in heaven now because Tuskegee has some of the most beautiful women right here within this part of the country, and it goes without saying. So here comes some more sights and sounds. Can you tell us something about the fantastic Lynx Incorporated, specifically the Tuskegee chapter? Yes, the Tuskegee chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. We are an organization that provides service and friendship, and we are here today at the Carver Festival We've been here since, some of us since 7.30 this morning, others of us since 8. And we set up a hospitality booth so that the vendors and performers will have coffee, water, and donuts free of charge. This is one of our service opportunities for our chapter. And you know something, that is a wonderful thing to do. And you know, I'm going to say this on camera. These two beautiful ladies don't, don't want to say anything, but guess what? They're going to say something. Tell us when the Lynx were founded here in Tuskegee, the Tuskegee chapter. Do you know or you remember or how long have you been a member of the Lynx? Well, I've been a member of the Lynx since uh, 2008. And um, I've uh, been out here uh, every year doing this. It's just been a wonderful thing. The vendors, they've been so friendly. And they're just, oh man, how much do, do we owe you for this? Yeah. Nothing. Free. You may not get anything else out here free, but you're getting free coffee, free donuts, and tea if that's what you like. And I know you're going to concur with some of the other things that have been happening and what you're providing. Yes, yes, yes. And, you know, a lot of times, if they're having to come out here so early, they don't get a chance to eat anything. So they know to look forward to our booth that they can get the things that are free. But I'm just happy to see so many people out here. The weather is perfect. It's beautiful. And I hope even more people come out. And I've noticed I see a lot more smiles, uh, yes. friendliness. It's just like the old Tuskegee spirit, and I'm really enjoying that. You know, they say it's a great day in Tuskegee. And that goes without saying. Well, there's more sights and sounds here at the Tuskegee Carver Festival. The links, the Tuskegee chapter right here, ladies and gentlemen. Sights and sounds abound right here in Tuskegee at the 14th annual 2017 George Washington Carver Festival. Who do we have now that's going to sound off for us? The mayor of Tuskegee, the pride of the swift growing south, the one, the only, Lawrence Tony Haygood. Thank you, mayor, for being here today. Tell us something about this fantastic event that we have here within the city. Oh, it's a great event today. We had some good weather and the citizens turned out. We have vendors that turned out. We had a good parade this morning, and now we got the car show going on uh, along with the vendors. So it's a great event because of the level of participation. We got a lot of good energy in Tuskegee now with our citizens doing things, cleaning up the city. Our law enforcement and first responders getting more involved, our city workers, along with the county. We're really coming together in this community in a positive way. And you see it out here today. People are coming out having fun, entertaining themselves, showing what they have to show off and everybody's enjoying it. So it's a great time in Tuskegee. It's a great day in the city of Tuskegee and Macon County. Well, you know, if you say so, we're gonna take it true because you are the mayor of Tuskegee and we are just excited about your tenure here. But let me say this to you or ask you a question. Lots of people sometimes will say that they want this done or that done. Give them the information on how they can contact you, mayor. Okay, you can contact us at City Hall, at, uh, area code 334-720. 0514 and when you contact us just leave a message we'll get in contact with you and follow up on whatever we can because we're trying to get as many people involved with their ideas with their suggestions even their criticism now we like for them to come with solutions or suggestions for solutions but we'll hear the criticisms as well because we're committed to making Tuskegee and making county better we're working with the chairman of the county commission and his and the commissioners along with the other city council persons we're working with the university Dr. Brian Johnson the president the Board of Trustees, 
It's a very positive thing happening in Tuskegee, and we're glad to be part of it. We invite the citizens to become part of it, just like they are today. Everybody's out with this beautiful weather, having a good time right here in downtown Tuskegee. We couldn't have it any better. And that's the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, the mayor of Tuskegee, Lawrence Tony Haygood. Thank you again, Mayor. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Well, we're going to continue with the sights and sounds of Tuskegee's 14th annual 2017 Carver Festival as we just continue to meet and greet and go around the square and see things that you haven't seen, heard things that you have not heard right here in Tuskegee. If you didn't know it, Tuskegee has some of the greatest vintage automobiles in the United States of America, right here within the city square of Tuskegee. And one of the owners of one of these vintage automobiles, McKinley Minifield. Thank you, Mr. Minifield, for doing this interview for us. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Tell us what you are driving. Uh, what are you driving today? Well, today I have two vehicles. I have a 70 Chevelle 454, and I have a Camaro ZL1, and we are proud give to have both. Give us the years of those automobiles. The year of the Chevelle is a 1970, and the Camaro is a 2013. I'm going to ask you something around these beautiful flowers that you have. As a matter of fact, let's find out who these beautiful flowers are. Who are you, young lady? Barbara Menifee. And you? I am his niece, Larshawn Williams. Wow, man, you got the whole ball of wax right here. You got the cars, you got the ladies, you got everything right here. Let me ask you a question. How do the vintage cars stack up to the newer cars today? Can the old cars hang with the new cars? I think they can, but the older cars, they have to go in and cheat a little bit. You have to put, put gas on them and all that. But we're running old class and new class. I hear you. Right here in the city square, Vintage Automobiles with McKinley, Minifield, and his flowers. We're continuing to move around, so stay tuned right here for the Tuskegee Television Network. We're right here at the Carver Festival 2017. Tuskegee,
Y'all got to listen. Y'all next. La, 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 la. Just be good to me. Y'all next, y'all ready? I want y'all to say la, y'all say la, say la, la, la. I can't hear y'all. Just be good. Just be good to me. I want to hear everybody in the square. Say la, say la, la, la. Once again, with the sights and the sounds here at Tuskegee, Alabama, at the Tuskegee Carver Festival, the 14th edition of this festival, 2017. We have a special guest with us today, star, singer, just oh, all not. kind of things in the music world, Miss Toya Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Toya Jones. T Mrs. Jones, where are you from? I'm actually from Montgomery, Alabama. You're kidding, right mm -mm, up the street? Right up the street, well, right up the road. Well, and you know, we're excited about you being here performing for us. Let us take this opportunity to say thank you for being here. You're making the festival even that more professional, thank just you. your presence here. Thank you. Tell us some of the things that you have done and you aspire to do. Um, well, there are a lot of things that I aspire to do, but I have done a lot um, as well prior to uh, doing the Carver Festival. And first of all, let me say I'm so excited to be here. It's always a great thing to be in the city of Tuskegee, Alabama, and I'm Thank so you. grateful for you all even having me here on today. Um, of course, um, The Voice. I was on The Voice. Um, I've done a few right. things with Chaka Khan, opened up with uh, Fantasia, Keith Sweat, um, Big Names, Big Rob. Um, a lot of major artists and I'm so grateful that God gave me the opportunity to do so and I'm again I'm so grateful to be here at the festival on today at the Carver Festival on today uh, performing for the beautiful people of Tuskegee Alabama and surrounding areas well we're, we're very excited that you're here and it's no mistake that you're here because mm -hmm. your God-given talent has you. allowed you to rise to this particular occasion Thank not you. just here but you know what you have fans not just here mm -hmm. you have fans all around and Thank this you. broadcast is okay. being filmed for Tuskegee but also is on the internet oh, wow. so it will be viewed on the international community as okay. well wow. so once again Miss Toya yes. Jones yes. is there one parting word you'd like to say or where you would be or something to look forward to before um, we, we get off of this one basically if you're not here at the Carver Festival in Tuskegee Alabama you definitely have to come on today I go on in like five minutes so if you're not here try to make your way here I have an hour on stage it would definitely behoove you to come down and take a look at my live show thank you so much Tuskegee and the surrounding areas for supporting Toya Jones. You guys can find me on, I'm sorry, you guys can find me on social media at Toya Jones, that's T-O-I-A-J-O-N-E-S, that's Facebook, Instagram, um, as well as Twitter as well. So God bless you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Toya Jones, right here at the Tuskegee Television Network. Now, I need everybody, if you can stand to your feet, to stand up with me. Come on. If you got legs and you can walk, you gotta stand up and let me 
me see you put your hands together. Come on.
much for coming out on today, enjoying this beautiful Carla Festival tonight. Well, today, I should say. If you've had a good time so far, y'all make some noise, say yeah. Two thousand seventeen fourteenth annual George Washington Carver Festival. Hey, we are here with the man of Macon County, the chairman, commission chairman of Macon County, Mr. Lewis Maxwell. Thanks you, sir, for doing this interview. How are you today? I am outstanding. I thank God he just for blessing us. I am great. You know, this is a wonderful event. I know that on your plate there's so many different things you have to do as commission chairman that when we have a fantastic good event you want to say something about it. Tell us about the 2017 14th annual Carver Festival. Well I'm excited. I want to say thank you to those volunteers who put in their time and effort to make this happen. Truly it's a blessing. God looked favorable on us this day for this beautiful weather and to see all of my people out here, it is just outstanding because that's what it's all about. People getting to know each other, coming together because together we stand and divided we fall. And this is a part of the effort to bring our community together as one. You know, Tuskegee is in the county seat of Macon, is the county seat of Macon. Commission, Commission uh, Chairman, can you tell these people who would like to contact you how they can contact you via telephone numbers or website inquiries? You can get in touch with me. We have a county website, MaconAlabama.com. You can get in touch with us through that way, or you can call me directly, 339-1832, or you can call my office, 724-2555. We're available at any time. If I'm not there, you can reach me by my cell phone. If I can't get you, leave me a message, and I will call you back. Well, there you have it, open door policy right here within Macon County, Commission Chairman Lewis Maxwell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate all you all do. God bless you. Back here at the Carver Craft Festival with Dr. Prakash, the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences upon the campus of Tuskegee University. Doctor, thanks for coming and doing this for us here. Uh, absolutely. This is a great honor and what a joy. Such a gorgeous day and uh, you can't expect anything better than this to celebrate the legacy of a great scientist and then the great man who made Tuskegee what it is today. And it's, it's really nice to be with our community and enjoy the music and the food, and the festivity, and, and just be thankful for everything that what we have. Yeah, thank you very much. See, Dr. Prakash is the dean of the largest college on the campus of Tuskegee University, and within that College of College of Arts and Sciences, we have the Fine and Performing Arts, where we have music, choirs, dancing, and acting, and all of that literary stuff. And he is here because he loves Tuskegee, he's supporting the university, and he is taking a straw from the hat of this event so that the College of Arts and Sciences can do even more of that on the campus of Tuskegee University. Have you enjoyed yourself here today, Doctor? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Again, again, Dean of College of Arts and Sciences, Dr. Bakash, Tuskegee University, here on the Tuskegee Television Network. Just moving about here at the Carver Festival with Emil Tapley, local musician. Man of the hour, man of the minute, man of the year, man of all of that. Um, Mr. Tapley and I go way back. We are both musicians and we've played percussion for the Tuskegee University Crimson Piper Band. And not just only that, but also in live music, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He works for the uh, university. University, Mr. Tapley, have you enjoyed yourself here at the uh, Carver Festival? Yes, I have. It's been a wonderful experience. Uh, now, you have participated in live music at this festival before, is that correct? Uh, yeah, several years, several years. Yeah, I was much younger then, much younger. <laughs> <laughs> much younger, I couldn't tell it because you're still looking youthful, you still look the same. As they would call him, tap, you're yeah. still looking the same. Right but um, being here in Tuskegee and doing all you're doing, you, you are a staple in the music industry here in Tuskegee. You got anything coming up on the music side? Uh, just still working in the studio. Looking for talent, looking for people that are looking for a career in music and uh, have, have talent and uh, have something worthwhile to say. And uh, I'm willing to invest a little time and effort in that. So you are approachable for potential musicians that want to become part of uh, the music scene? 
He has artists, uh, singers, rappers, uh, as long as they have some lyrics that are worthwhile being said. Yeah. Well, there you have it, Sights and Sounds, right here with e Mr. Tapley here at the Tuskegee Television Network here at the Carver Craft Festival. some water up here it was cold on the way walking up here but now I've gotten hot y'all doing all right well I tell you y'all looking real good on today